Now, on that note, you know, speaking of uh, legendary martial artists, of course, you work with the legendary Bruce Lee. Everybody knows that. Yeah. And uh, now, just leading into that, uh, what was your experience with Bruce Lee, and you know, how was everything uh, with the Dragon? Um, where do I start? I don't think we have time no. to talk about Bruce Lee. But anyway, like yeah. His skills. You mentioned about his skills. Yeah, his skills. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, um, I have the utmost respect for Bruce Lee. I'm glad you asked me that too because I want to clear up something. You know, I, I'm on that internet, you know, so I read some of these comments that people have on the internet about Bruce Lee and myself. And, and I, about a month ago, I read on there this guy said that I was back in Cincinnati, Ohio, a few years ago, promoting one of my movies. And uh, I said, uh, when I was being interviewed on stage, that I would kick Bruce Lee's ass. I, I can't believe that. I couldn't believe that. That I, This guy said that I, the gym said that he would kick Bruce Lee's ass. And then he got ran out of Cincinnati, Ohio. We ran him out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This, I mean, I can't believe it. First of all, I have the utmost respect for Bruce Lee. And... I don't think anybody during Bruce Lee's time, during his era, before he died, I don't think anybody could kick Bruce Lee's ass. Not only me, nobody else. I think Bruce Lee was the greatest martial artist that ever lived. The guy was absolutely incredible. The greatest martial artist that ever lived, as far as I'm concerned. And like when you, obviously there's a lot of pictures with you sparring or just, you know, promotional shots with him and working out. What was that like? I mean, it must have been an incredible experience to see him in action. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a one incredible experience for me to have the opportunity to work with him on the set. I've worked with some incredible personalities. I've worked with some great athletes, and Bruce was one of them. Uh, probably treasure working with Bruce more than anyone else I've ever worked with because, obviously, we're martial artists. Right, right. And I learned so much from working with Bruce. Um, and uh, we, I didn't have, I, one thing I regret in my life is that I never had the opportunity to train a long time with Bruce, spend a lot of time with him and take private lessons with him. But I did have the opportunity to work with him a little bit. And, uh, in Jeet Kune Do? In his system, yes, in his system. Uh, uh, and he was checking my style out. And matter of fact, Bruce uh, saw me throw my backhand. And uh, I never said, I, I've never told him about this before publicly. But uh, when we were working out a little bit together, he, and I, he said, Jim, who taught you that backhand? You have the fastest jab or backhand or back knuckle strike. Some people call it back knuckle. Mm -hmm. Some people call it front hand strike. Some people call, can call it a jab. But, it's a, but Bruce said, I've never seen anyone throw the, the back knuckle, the front fist as fast as you. Who taught you that? And I said, um, actually, uh, Gordon Dover Sola uh, from Okinawa Tay. And uh, I found out later, Bruce used to take private lessons from Gordon Dover Sola from Okinawa Tay, and I didn't know this. So uh, in, in one sense, Bruce was like, he knew how many people could teach Jim throw that backhand, that back fist that fast. So he had, a, he had an idea, it must be somebody like Gordon Dover Sola. So, uh, and also, uh, I, I could share some things about Bruce, but I, maybe I better save him for my book. Okay. <laughs> and speaking of the book, so